Hi, this is Debbie. Uh, this is Debbie's demo on Debbie's Dare. Uh, this is what I look like at 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> after we've been working really hard on the house and on weddings and on this wonderful project that I've almost finished with. I'm going to finish it up with you. So let me get on to the project. I actually saw this project at Cracker Barrel when my husband took me out to eat. It's a restaurant that has a general store sort of in the front, an old tiny one, but with some very beautiful, beautiful things. And they had Halloween and Christmas out. And I saw this Christmas piece that was made like a Christmas tree. And I smiled and I go, oh, I have got to remember this because I can reproduce this for any occasion um, with paper, which is what I've done. So let me show you the project. See my bat? That's Basil with some black stickles on it. But it keeps going down, keeps going down, keeps going down, keeps going down. And this is a stone. You can see the foam. It's a foam center. And you can see that I've been working on a little Halloween tree. And you go, oh, this takes forever. Now, I've, I've pretty much done it in between ironing and putting up curtains and cleaning and running to town. Isn't that fun? Ah, it just makes a really great centerpiece. So I'm going to show you how. Is it wrong? Oh, it's the right way. Da, 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 da. All right. So all I did was um, for the bottom here, I used my Fiskars. It's an inch and a half scallop squeeze punch. You can use a regular square punch, or better yet, you can even use your trimmer. And it just starts with this size. It starts with an inch and a half and moves to the inch. Uh, if you have a taller um, piece of foam, you can go two inches, inch and a half, and then an inch. And it gives it a really beautiful look when you do that. It gives you that graduated look a little bit better than what I've done. And all I did, of course, if you've never used a squeeze punch, you are missing out in life. They're very, very easy. This is actually the top of the squeeze punch. We turned it upside down so you don't have to. The weight of the punch is actually on the bottom. And all you have to do is there's a little slit here. Slide it in. I'm going to slide it in over the uh, little haunted house here. You can see. And I'm just going to squeeze. See? And it pops right out. Very easy. This is actually a cardstock with embossing on it. So it was a little bit thick, but it went through very, very easy. So you can see I just used my uh, squeeze punch, and then I'm going to take a peek. piece. That was a piece of Cloud 9. This is a piece of Pink Paisley. I'm just going to pop out a piece of that. Let me catch that one as it goes. And what I did is because I didn't have any two-sided specialty paper, they don't make a lot of that where it's glittery on one side or embossed on one side and then color on the other. So what I did is I used my glossy accents, this is just a classroom size, and just very thinly squiggle it across. You don't have to fill it all up. Let me see, I just need to get my little haunted house. And what I did is I just put it together, sort of mooshed it around a little bit. That sort of spreads it out. And it's, it's ready to go. The haunted house is ready to go. So I've already made some up here because I'm going to need several, you can see. Um, and what I did is take, I have a larger pen. This is the um, uh, basil, and it's, oh, I got some spider web here. <laughs> uh, it's the basil uh, stitch. It's in, uh, it stitches, in stitches, and it's like a um, mouse pad. So you can use a mouse pad too. You just need something that you can put this through. <laughs> it's got me caught up here. And all I want to do is take an, an one on e on opposite corners, just punch it through. Yay! And I'm going to curl it because it now has become thick. Okay, because I've got two sheets of paper there. So if you find two sided, where it has your Halloween color on one side or Christmas color, think about this for a Christmas tree. I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to put it through the hole, and you're going to see me do this a couple times. Put it through one hole, bring it over the top. Where you've already got the other hole punched and what I do is I just take and lay it here and straighten it the way I want it make sure your pen goes ooh, ooh. that's what happens sometimes I was using longer pens I was actually using these pens to start with and they're much longer and will stay more secure um, 
but I wanted a little head on my pen be pens because I'm putting stickler stickles on them. So I'm sort of finding myself in a center, give it a little cannoli type look here, and push that on through. You can pull this up then, and you have your pen. Now that's what I did on the straight ones. Now what I have to do at the top is I have to give it a tiny bit of an angle because we are at the top, and I'm going over. <laughs> I'm going over these, so I need I need an angle in order to anchor it. There we go. Uh, make sure. I get them close enough. I don't want to see my styrofoam. Yeah, here we go. Ta-da! And we'll just keep going. Punch a few more. I don't think we need but a few more. And I'll do it with the big one this time, and you can see. And you can see I did different colors, but actually it's um. You know, I tried to keep some kind of theme of colors going on, so it looked really neat. And I actually, I, I use things around the house today because I did not have time to go to town and, and figure out what I wanted and those kind of things. So it's like, if I can't find it, it doesn't get done. <laughs> oh, me silly at two in the morning. Uh, so and I'll show you how much easier it is to use a longer pen. Again, down in that, get it, if it's not set just right, get your cannoli looking going here, and I have an angle on my pen. Let's see, okay, I'm trying not to touch the stickles because I don't think they're dry yet. And again, you're just putting, placing these, they're going, and I'll show you really up close. They sort of go in between the best you can each one of them and so you're moving one over and it's going in between the two you had before you can see it on the bigger ones down here how they're sort of going in between and it makes your pattern so I, as you can see I did a couple of them I still have this little gap here what I did is I actually took a wire and let's see, let me come back up a little bit I took a wire needle is all I did and just took my needle nose pliers now you take your jewelry one too, and you just I just wrapped it around and gave it something, and because it's a needle, I poked it down into my uh, styrofoam, so I have this nice bat flying off the top of my piece. And of course, you've been seeing me play with this thing. Probably don't need near that much, but I'm just going to take it. Ta -da -da -da. Oh, and I went through with the pens. You see that the pens here are yellow. But I went back through with my orange peel stick. <laughs> it doesn't want to let me go. My orange peel stickles, and I want to show you what I, how I did it. But I just covered them up. I, all I did was just put it right in the top, and this is what happens when you don't shake them down. Oh, here we go. And just sort of like you do a cake if you've ever decorated a cake. It's the same kind of idea. And then I just want to take some of my little scary spider web <laughs> I like this stuff my son and I will decorate our whole house in this stuff and we're gonna get a little bit of a delay this year because of the wedding we can't really do Halloween uh, for the wedding because we're having the bridal shower here uh, so you have this wonderful I'm going to pull some to the back where I didn't see it at. So this neat little project it makes a wonderful, like I said, centerpiece. I'm going to pull this apart some. Yay. We don't want his little face covered. Again, I used the stickles for my bat. I just inked my bat black and then um, put some stickles on it to make it glitzy. So you can see this is really cool. I'm just going to add a couple more of the squares and I will be finished with my Halloween centerpiece. All made with nothing more than squares. Inch and a half inch. And a styrofoam tree. And some pens. Make sure you have plenty of the same size pens, but go for the longer ones, okay? Alright, so get out and look around for some inspiration anywhere you go. The restaurants, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, however, um, office supply places, those are cool places too. I love the colors there that inspire me. Bye guys. Have a good night. God bless you.